Okay, um, doing a tutorial in Unreal Development Kit uh, to change where the camera view is while you're playing. So instead of first person, it'd be third person, or as John needs, he needs one in the front. So I thought I'd do that. Yeah. Also, I, uh, I've done a video before. I did see if it was fun and what not. Um, so I'm just creating an area in an additive world. Move, move, move. I want to do stuff here. Holding L clicking to make a light. Just to light the scene. Um, going to scale it up so if it's lit well. Quickly going to turn off light mass because it's getting um, no offense to you homosexuals out there. Um, and I'm then going to add a player start. Why is he facing? He's facing that direction. Okay. Well, in that case, let's bring you back. That's the wrong way. No. There we go. No, 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 good. Um, <coughs> okay. We need to go into the content browser, actor classes, camera actor, right click. It's not there. Click, right click, it's not there. Okay, so that should be working, but it's not. Oh, there we go. A few errors. I'm gonna click the eye, so where I look is where the camera will be. Starts facing here. Make it lower. Looking up a little. And we'll move it back. Oh uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, is if you want to do a third person view. Do it behind him, my shoulders up above his head if you want him looking over the top of the player. But this tutorial is mainly for John, I'm just going to do it as if he's running away. The camera's in front, so you'll be running away from something basically. Um, straight into Kismet, you want to go in, right click, new event, go down to level loaded, a nicely shaped box, hexagon for the win. You then want to add a um, new action, I believe. Actor. No, I'm going insane. I want. Oh, yeah, here's the attached to actor. And um, move it to clear that. And then I believe we do beginning of level. If it's not beginning of level, it will be level loaded and visible. Maybe not the two. I'm just gonna put it on that one for now. See if it's right. Uh, right click, new variable, player, player, connect target to player. Got to move it closer just because I've got OCD. Um, and then we add a new matinee. Whatever you say, it's one of those words. Um, may as well connect them now. Out to play, and completed to play. Um, then. Go into the menu, so this little window pops up. Have the camera selected. And while we're in here, uh, when you're in this window and you have the camera selected, it shows you the screen shape as you can see in this window. And uh, we basically want to shrink it because, uh, well, you know, the right screen size ish. So I think it's probably about right, I'm not sure. We'll leave it like that for now. That happens. Yeah, then with the camera acted, uh, uh, selected, a new camera group. Call it whatever you wish. Um, and nothing really needs to be done. You then add a new director group. With the director tab selected, this little button key. Uh, have that selected, the new camera group in the drop down list. OK, and that's all lovely, jubbly, and done. And then here, you'll have this now that you've added the camera in. Uh, drag it over here, just for visual purposes, and link attachment to the camera as well as having it just a group over here just should automatically be on. And that's basically what it's going to look like. Take a good look because it's sexy, obviously. Um, and yes, that should be it. Um, I'm going to build. That's going to work, otherwise, this is an epic fail five minutes, so I have to do all over again so I don't look like an idiot. But please work. Yes, and it moves when you move. 
Uh, when you kind of strafe sideways, it wobbles a little, but oh, I think that's pretty cool, really. Uh, where you aim, turns the camera as well, but you will never, you know, the up and down doesn't look up and down, so you can't change the up and down angle of where the camera is. Um, the only issue, as you can see, is the crosshairs are, you know, stuck in the center, so you may want to hide the crosshairs, which I actually don't know how to do. Um, it's probably very simple. Um, but yeah, so when you shoot or anything, but you know, levels that we're creating are, um, course thingy, uh, you probably won't need to shoot. I doubt there's going to be many people adding bots in. Uh, I know David did, but yeah. But yeah, uh, so where you shoot, it kind of goes across this weird kind of direction of shooting, but yeah, it gives a crap. Um, so yeah, you can turn this so where you run is where you. The, the camera is basically. Uh, I don't think it'd be good if you run away from stuff, uh, or like I said, you can do um, exactly the same process, just put the camera behind them um, and it should work. Actually, I might try that now, see if it does work, if you can move it simply enough. I haven't actually tried it this way, I've tried, I've got third person camera in a different way actually to this. Uh, it's a lot simpler actually than I've got my third person camera, it's very Gears of War. Um, it's, it's so easy, you create one box and change a property and it's simple as um, see if that works, I don't know if you need to build or not yeah. work like a charm, ED is fucking fire yeah okay, I'm done bye